Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Why a Norwegian-style EU relationship for Britain wouldn't work It's back again! More euro spending on the ECB charge card And still more fiscal fleecing as commissioners fund euro rock bands Whilst you stagger over those headlines why you might not be having a glass of German wine And finally EU cost analysis shows MEPs cost £1.79 million a year. What a bargain. I'm Rick Timmis and this is The Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. This article looks in more detail at the relationship Norway has with the European Union. Often cited as a model that Britain could employ as a possible EU exit strategy, this article looks at some fatal flaws in the model that would be a disaster for the UK. Ultimately, the dialogue in the media appears to be swinging toward a full EU exit for the UK. As ever, we'll keep you posted as the story unfolds. Ah, it's back in the nightly news headlines for the third time this week. Our clandestine Euro kleptocrats are back in the shopping malls of Europe with the ECB credit card. This time, it's a €300 million Euro finance scheme for small businesses in the Western Balkans. Now keep this one under your hat. We don't want our Spanish friends coming out in protest again. It makes the Euro bureaucrats look a bit silly. Are you ready to rock? EU officials have said the pop world is dominated by too much Anglo-Saxon and American groups and are now putting your money where their mouths are. Yes, that's right folks, you've guessed more flexing of the ECB charge card. This time it's £160,000 to send bands on tour round Britain. Clearly these fools know nothing about the modern music industry as the new medium for chart toppers is the download charts. Our Anglo-rock sceptic Euromancers would have more impact if they just spent the money trying to nobble iTunes. German politicians are up in arms as EU plans to lift restrictions on vineyards. In this article, Consumer Minister Alexander Bond is extremely critical of the EU proposal. Concerned that competition from southern European states like Greece, Spain, Portugal and Italy could threaten the livelihoods of our German vintners. Heaven forbid our southern European partners finding ways to feed their families. Lord Sassoon, the Commercial Secretary to the Treasury, revealed the cost of an MEP is £1.79 million. That is compared with £590,000 per MP. This article breaks down the full cost analysis, but a quick calculation of the 600 plus MEPs tells you the annual bill is in the billions. If you're wondering where all the EU money goes, this article is a good place to start. Additionally, I have an exciting announcement about a new section to the website. We have begun building a library of books in our resources section. These are e-books in PDF form which are available for easy download. And the first book to grace our virtual shelves is Germany's Four Reichs by Harry Backoff. Links to the new section are below. Today in our video library, Harry Beckhoff, one of the original Bletchley Park codebreakers, now 94 years old, takes us back to 1933 and follows the history through the development of post-war Europe to the present day and beyond. That's all for me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can, of course, join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>